There's been a big announcement that introduces two new pieces of legislation that goes after rental restrictions and age restrictions in strata buildings in BC. Before I dive into that, I would appreciate if you guys hit the like button and the subscribe button to help grow my community and also help me get my word out to more people like you that want to be kept up to date in the real estate market. If you want to book a call with me to talk about anything real estate, I've got a link below in the description where you can book a 30 minute call with me to chat about anything real estate. I'm going to dive into this article here by the Vancouver Sun. This announcement was made in the morning of November 21st and it says the new BC housing laws will lift rental restrictions in strata, set housing targets for municipalities. Right now when I take clients out in the Fraser Valley, Greater Vancouver area, it's not uncommon to see buildings that have bylaws in the strata that limit the number of rentals or eliminate rentals altogether. It's pretty clear that no rentals allowed means no rentals allowed. But rentals with restrictions means that a strata can manage the number of rentals that are allowed in that specific building at any given time. There can be different kinds of rental restrictions, but one that's very common that I usually see is 10% rental caps on a specific building. So if the building has 100 units in them, that means only 10 of those units would be able to be rented at one time. I'm a mathlete. So if you're an owner who's looking to upsize or maybe move out of town, we're seeing more and more people will want to work remotely in different cities and countries or maybe you've gotten temporarily transferred for work but you want to keep your property and the rentals are full at that point unfortunately you would be forced to sell or have your unit sit vacant which doesn't help the housing issue in BC. Another example and a reason why I like this proposed new legislation to eliminate rental restrictions altogether is in a case that I'm personally seeing right now where because rates have gone up so much this this year, six times to be exact, I am seeing buyers start to struggle financially. Either they've had to refinance at today's higher rates or they purchased in the last year or year and a half. And if they sold their home today, they would be losing money. And perhaps they might want to move in with families to kind of alleviate some financial stress and they want to keep their property. They don't want to sell it. So in a case like that, it would be great if that person could rent out their condo for a little while and restructure their finances and get back on their feet. And currently right now, the government's saying, well, that's not allowed. You're gonna have to be forced to sell, which is something that I am not in favor of. We want people to get into the market to start building up their equity and building up their wealth. We don't want them to have a bad buying experience, be forced to sell. It doesn't really help anyone in my opinion. So he's bringing in a legislation or is trying to bring one in that would eliminate that altogether. And people would have the option to always be able to rent their home out should that come into play. One more point to consider is that if you are currently living in a building with no rentals allowed or rental restrictions, as soon as all the restrictions are lifted, your property value will increase as a result. And the reason being is because now you are attracting the investor buyers who would otherwise not be purchasing in a building with any rental restrictions. This in turn could help you build up your equity and potentially upsize quicker in the near future. But I also understand the flip side of the coin is that it is going to make it harder for first time home buyers once again to get into the market because you're going to have a lot of investors come that previously wouldn't have been able to purchase in that building, therefore increasing the amount of demand and in turn price points as well. That being said, this new proposed legislation encourages people to keep their investment properties, build up their equity, but it also creates more rental housing, which is something we desperately need in BC. And when I'm talking about BC Let's be honest here, we're mainly talking about the Vancouver core, Fraser Valley, and greater Vancouver area. These are where the housing issue is the most prominent within the province. The other part of the legislation being proposed is to eliminate buildings with certain age restrictions. So they're not talking about the 55 plus senior homes that are available. That's going to be kept the way it is. But what they're targeting is buildings that have a 19 plus age restriction 
restriction on them. So some buildings here have a age restriction. You have to be 19 years or older to live in that building. And those buildings generally sell for 10 to 15% less because you're shrinking the buyer pool. You're not enticing people with small families or home buyers that plan to have a kid in the future. So as a result, when you have less buyers that would be wanting to purchase your property, your property sells for a little bit less. So they're saying if you're a young couple who's planning to have kids, you should not be forced to move out of your current property. Both items are aimed to improve the housing affordability and improve housing supply overall with the amount of people that are planning to move and that are projected to move into BC. It's so important that we increase the housing supply. I'd really like if you guys could comment below and let me know what you guys think of these two pieces of legislation that have been recently proposed. I hope you guys enjoyed and appreciated this video. Some very big news hitting BC housing and I wanted to bring it to the forefront of your attention. Just a reminder to hit that like and subscribe button to help me out. If you want to book a call with me to talk about anything real estate, I've got a link below in the description where you can book a 30 minute call with me to chat about anything real estate. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you guys soon.